guess I'll take a regular, regular propane torch. I'll just dry up the foot with it. Just get the moisture out of the foot. Just want to tan it. You don't want to burn it too much. Now use a wire brush. Really helps get some of that black crud out of the white line. Some of those areas there. And then I'll go back and just take my knife and just clean along the inside of the bar. Get a nice clean surface on the inside of that bar for, for the adhesion of the glue. Just clean up these black tracks the best we can. I'll just clean up along the, the angle of that bar. Make sure we have a nice good clean wall. Yeah, Rodney's got this foot pretty much cleaned up already, so it's it's pretty good. I'm just going to pack off some of these black cavities with some uh, some disinfectant powder and clean up the shoe, and we'll be ready to go. I'm just going to just clean up some of the edges here again. And just take any kind of antiseptic powder and just cover up those black tracks and just push it in there. Just press it in with my finger. That's pretty much it. Now we'll take a, we're going to just glue this on. Usually a typical keg shoe when we're directly gluing it. Usually just a two ounce jar of Equilox is usually all we'll, we'll need. And then you know, we mix a little bit of fiberglass in there, just shred some fiberglass up in there and it helps increase some of the tensile strength. It stops some of the cracking. In my opinion, it also makes the glue a little easier to work with. It gives it a little more bulk, so it's not so, so, so liquidy. Just, and it makes it easier to mold it and sculpt it around the uh, angle of the heel. And one thing you want to make sure, make sure the horse is standing good and square and make sure his his opposite foot's directly under his body. Now you don't want to go to try to work on him while this foot's way out there. He won't stand good for you. So you want to make sure the opposite foot's good and directly under the horse's body. And then we'll pick up the other foot. I usually put it between my legs and glue them on. Another uh, good trick, especially if you're gluing shoes on in the winter, you may want to just heat the shoe up real quick. Hit it with a propane torch. Just, uh, just get it warm. You don't want it too hot. Get the shoe too hot. It may you know, it may uh, affect the, uh, the acrylic, so you don't want to get it too hot. You want to just hot enough where it makes the Equilox set up a little quicker. It's better than gluing it on a cold shoe. It takes forever, and horses don't like to stand too long. So anything you can do to help speed up the process is beneficial. I put it on the foot first because the foot's cooler now than the shoe. If I put the glue on the shoe first, it sets up on the shoe too quick, so I put, it on the, I put an even layer on the foot first. And I put an even layer on the shoe. That did not be perfect. You're going to press it into the foot anyway. So we'll just press the shoe in. And once I get the shoe on the foot, I usually take the foot out from between my legs. Because sometimes horses get tired of standing on the other foot and they want to pull this leg forward. They want to pull it out from under your legs. And you usually end up pulling the shoe off as they pull that foot through your legs, it pulls the shoe off. So I get them out and I hold them in this position for the second half of the gluing process. Again, the real important thing is wrapping that glue around the angle of the heel. So you really want to get right there. You want to get that glue wrapped around the angle of the heel along the inside of the bar. Take a little more glue there. Same thing on this outside heel, wrap it around. I guess the most important thing to do is to get it wrapped. That's, that's, that's what gives the, the, uh, the shoe bond and the glue the strength is wrapping around that angle of the bar. So I do that first. Make sure I get the most important part done first on both sides. And then I can go back now and, and clean things up a little bit. I can take away some of this excess glue, put it back in the jar. You can run your finger around the sole here, remove some of that excess glue, stick it back in the jar. Or you can use your other glove. You can take some excess glue and just stick it back on your glove if you don't have anyone helping you. 
and use your finger and just get a nice smooth. Oh, buddy. This guy's in here because he's sore on both front feet, so he's getting sore on that left front foot standing here. And if you've got a horse that's real thin sold, take the end of your, the clean end of your tongue depressor, just go around the, and relieve some sole pressure. Just remove some of that equilox from the inner rim of that shoe. Because that can cause sole pressure on a thin sold horse and create some lameness once that glue sets up. Yeah, just take your uh, gauze here and just wipe up any excess glue. The more you can clean up while the glue still hasn't set up, the easier it is. You know, less rasping you have to do later and, and, and sanding. So it makes it a lot neater looking. You can remove it with the gauze. Then have your assistant pull your gloves off for you. Then it's best just to uh, take an, uh, a glove and just put it over the foot. And that helps keep the fumes away from you while you're letting the glue set up. It lets the glue cure better too if you keep put, wrap it up with plastic or a glove. A glove is real easy to use. Uh, if you're going to try using plastic wrap to wrap it, that's a little more difficult because the shoe may shift on you when you're wrapping it with the plastic. So just putting a glove on there is probably the way to go in my opinion. And usually you got to hold it up for maybe two or three minutes. We heated the shoe up so it should go a little quicker. Hey buddy. Yeah, we removed most of the excess glue when it was still setting up with the gauze, so um, it's not a whole lot to do. We'll just hit it with the, with the sander and just clean it up a bit. Give me a file, a rasp. Sander or a file and just just clean it up a bit. Sand it one more time here. All right, that's how it looked like when you're done. It's pretty. Let's just sand it up and. Aren't you ready to go?